let's have a quick look at uh, a simple um, symbol, which is a movie clip, because movie clips are great. So movie clips are essentially symbols. Unlike graphics, they're not static. They have their own uh, timeline, which can be really useful. Let me just show you in this example. So if I just scrub back through, the idea here is that I think we're looking at, I can't remember what age group this was, but a certain age group where young people are watching everything that's recommended to them, so not filtering. Or maybe they are filtering, but anyway, the point is they're hitting that recommended. So in our video, we're watching this cat and then another, guess what? They re click recommend and there's another cat. Um, and in this piece, the cat's eyes kind of move around strangely, which happens repeatedly. And if you think about a lot of animation cycles, the walk cycle, wheels of a car turning round, they kind of repeat. And to make those animations happen again and again and again, it's just boring and a waste of time. So using a movie clip could be really, really useful. It could be a really useful thing to, to know about. And if I show you here, you can see that there's no kind of tween. There's a starting point for the cat. Let me just show you, this is the right layer. There's the cat that we're talking about. Um, so we're on the cat mouse layer. There's no, there's nothing actually happening other than this uh, movie clip, which we can see here. It's got the cog, um, is on there for, what's that? I don't know, 40, 30, 40 frames, something like that. Yet when we come to watch it, So let's see how we do that then, because obviously to get a movie clip in there uh, is interesting. And let's just click on it. Let's in, look at that. So look, here's the timeline within the timeline. So you can tell on the top left that we've got the, the movie clip symbol and the little arrow that suggests we're in the timeline. Now the timeline we're in is that video. It's the kids these days uh, animation. If I click back, we were on Cats Are Funny, we're there. But because I've clicked into the timeline, I'm now in a timeline in the timeline. And of course, Inception style, you could go on and on and on. We're not gonna do that. I've set this up with a, a cat. Okay, so I've got just a cat. Um, and then I've got a left eye and, ooh, what happened there? Oh, I turned the whole thing off, sorry. And a right eye. And all that we're doing is we've got these eyes kind of moving around a little bit randomly. Um, so I'm gonna produce this from scratch. So file new, let's do this again, create. But this is where we're going to bring our cat in and create our animation. So we need, first of all, we need to bring our cat in. Big Eyes Cat, I've already set it up, it's there. It's in the library, um, let's drag it in because we need to make it into a symbol. So we'll keep that as it is. Now you can see there are no pupils because we're gonna put the pupils on top of it. They're the bits that are gonna move and that will be our the, the main part of our graphic. Um, let's modify, convert to symbol and this time we're gonna call this Cat Eyes just so we know what it is and it's on a movie clip. And let's go in uh, to the symbol to do it. Okay, so we can tell we're inside the symbol, inside the timeline. Okay, and we're gonna make, again, we're gonna call it cat. That's our background. I'm just gonna do, what, 25 frames just to make it easy. I'm then gonna add a, a left eye And okay, and a right, right eye. Do you know what? I'm gonna finally, towards the end of this, I'm gonna kick that don't show again button. Okay, so I don't wanna change the cat. I'm gonna lock the cat up, but I'm gonna start with the left eye. Uh, and that's the cat's left eye is there. And all I'm gonna do is grab a shape, the oval shape. I'm gonna go for something easy to see like white, uh, in fact, yeah, uh, yeah, white, we go for white. Um, and I'm gonna create a pupil a bit like that, which will basically start there and go there, something like that, just so it's really easy for you to see. Um, so that's the left eye. 
And so somewhere here, let's add uh, a classic tween. OK. And let's move the point to there. And then we'll move it back to there. Let's add another classic tween. So we've got two tweens. And we're going to end up over there. Let me zoom in a little so it's easier to see. Let's go 200% on this. So there you go. That's the movement. That is all, all we're doing. We're going to do, I'll do, I'll speed it up for the, for the right eye. Same thing, slightly different size. Let's go. There you go. Similar thing, slightly different sizes. And you could do this with anything, but that is the movie clip. So if I just play that, kind of, I mean, again, I could do uh, just for fun. Let's just add another keyframe in there and shift it over here and a keyframe in there and shift it up there. Cause now what you'll get is just watch this, just a slightly different. So suddenly we got eyes going everywhere. Um, so that is our movie clip. Let's come out of there and we're in layer one. We've got our movie clip and all we're going to do now is put in, I don't know, let's put in two seconds worth of um, frames. So this will last for two seconds. When we play this now, because it's playing the movie clip, it's including the movement that's within the movie clip, if that makes sense. Let me just show you what happens if we change our starting points. Be a bit kind of weird because this cat hasn't got a body as such, but let's start over here add a tween and then let's finish a bit further over here. So now we've got the eyes moving. Now I've got a tween, so the cat is moving, but the eyes are moving within the cat moving. So let's just check that out and see what that looks like and see if our movie clip works. It does, there you go. So again, that's the other type of symbol that we're using. Um, so remember modify, convert to symbol and we've got we've got movie clips and graphics. We're not so worried about buttons. We do need to use both of those within uh, our animation.